the side effects of an acquisition deal can be considered in terms of earnings growth and diversification so far as earning growth is concerned an acquisition may fool investors on a firm's eps growth more than what it really is let's take an example of two firms to understand this earning magic one firm we have is the global resources whereas the other firm is the regional enterprises if we see on the screen both the firms have an eps of 1 whereas the price per share for global is $25 and regional is $10 per share number of shares of for both of the companies are 100 as to the outstanding shares whereas the total earnings of global is $100 and same is true for the regional enterprises the total value of global is therefore comes to $2500 US dollars whereas it is $1000 for regional enterprises using this data if we see the price earning ratio of a global a global resources it is 25 times whereas it is 10 times for regional enterprises now the question arises that do the investors are getting a better deal with regional enterprises the answer is that not necessarily because globals earning are expected to grow faster than the regionals earnings and this is the fact that market expect expectation of growth rate in earnings of a firm determines its are a price earning ratio now assume that in this acquisition there is a zero synergy effect between the two firms then if the market thinks smartly then what will happen we know that in this particular situation the combined value of the firm after acquisition is equal to the individual uh, sum of individual values of global and the individual value of the resources enterprises and that sum is equal to 3500 us dollars at this if the global acquires regional at a ratio of 4200 shares then the situation appears if we see on the screen that the earnings per share will be 1.43 dollars for the global and price per share is same at 25 us dollars number of shares will go from 100 to 140 outstanding by the global the total earnings will global become equal to 200 dollars whereas the total value will be equal to 3500 dollars and at this level of data the price earning ratio will be 17.5 times for the global now the question again arises that why the global earning a uh, price earning ratio has dropped from 25 dollars to uh, 25 times to 17.5 times the answer is that the eps of the combined firms is equal to the average of the eps of the global firm which is a high growth firm and the eps of the regional firm which is which is basically the low growth firm so we can draw a conclusion that the global's price earning ratio should drop taking a new division that has a low growth rate in its earnings what will happen if the market is pulled then the market might take the globals 43% earning uh, increase in its eps for a true growth and that 43% is uh, from eps of $1 to $1.43 per share at at in this case there will be no fall in uh, the globals price earning ratio as if we see the after acquisition situation the earnings per share is $1.43 a price per share is now 35.71 dollars for the global number of shares are 140 these are the outstanding shares total earnings after acquisition are 200 dollars and the total value is now equal to 5000 dollars and at this data the price earning ratio of global after acquisition is same at 25 times so we see that 
एट द प्राइस अर्निंग रेशो ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव टाइम्स द वैल्यू ऑफ कम्बाइंड फर्म इज नाउ इक्वल टू फाइव थाउजेंड डॉलर एंड द ग्लोबल न्यू स्टॉक प्राइस इज नाउ थर्टी फाइव पॉइंट सेवन वन डॉलर एंड दिस इज हाउ अर्निंग मैजिक कैन वर्क दिस अपीयर्स दैट द मार्केट इज टू स्मार्ट टू बी फूल बाय दिस दिस मैजिक वेरी मच ईजीली the second effect that can be seen as an outcome of an acquisition deal is the diversification diversification is regarded as a benefit for the acquirer but there is an argument against the diversification that it does not increase in any value however merger are meant sometimes for diversifying thus unsystematic risk but investors individually are does not need companies that are widely diversified for this particular risk elimination because individually investors can do more easily this work by uh, purchasing common shares in different companies so diversification uh, through conglomerate mergers may not benefit the shareholders but diversification can benefit the acquirer subject to certain conditions like if diversification reduces on systematic risk at a lower cost than the individual's judgment on his personal portfolio the second if the diversification reduces the risk and increases the post acquisition debt capacity